is Mr. Tripie, and today we're going to do low poly water in our low poly landscape tutorial series. So in the last video, we kind of blocked out the water just by adding a plane by pressing shift A plane. And then we quite simply went to the materials, made it a bluish color and brought the roughness down to make it look smoother and shinier. So if we wanted to animate this, we can go ahead and start by going to the materials tab, adding a subdivision surface. I'm going to go into wireframe and we'll just look at it. Go maybe to, maybe to about five, switch it to simple. Uh, we can maybe go up a little bit higher than that, but we'll start with this and go back to look dev. Next, we're going to go to add modifier, displace, and we're going to need a texture. So we start by hitting new and it will add a texture slot. We go to the texture tab and we can go and open an image. I opened a simple clouds image. I'll have a comment with a link to this image down below. And as you can see, it added a little bit of displacement to our water. If I go back to the tab, I can make it stronger. I can make it go a little bit lower and bring up the strength. So how can I animate this? Well, I can start by taking the texture coordinate and change it from local to object and hit shift A and I'll go ahead and add a empty. I'll just use a plain axis. So now we got an empty in our world. I can maybe hit S and scale it up a bit to make it easier to see. Now I can go to the water, select the object, empty. And now if I move this empty, this moves the texture, so the water moves with it. So now I can simply go ahead and keyframe this by pressing I, location. And if I press right click to move this over to the end, I can now hit G and maybe Y and move this over. And I can go ahead and hit I location and now it'll be animated. Now maybe this is too fast so I can go and scroll out with a scroll wheel, grab this guy by left clicking it and hit G and move out this keyframe farther back. I can maybe increase the end frame so that I can see that still and now I'll be a little bit slower. Now these frames are curved, meaning that it will start slower and then get faster. So in this case, you might want it to be linear so that it would match more to the real world where it wouldn't start from completely still and then get faster. So to do that, we can go to the animation tab. We can hit B, box select this, box select these guys. To key, go to interpolation mode and go to linear. So now if I went to view, toggle graph editor, you can see that these lines are completely straight. If I change the key to Bezier, you'll see that they're curved. So now I go back to the layout tab and press play, which is space. And you can see that it's now animated. You could potentially improve this by going ahead and duplicating your displacement modifier and having two different animated Ds having one going say that direction and another going that direction and it'll have them kind of split and not be consistent where the waves are and it might look a little bit better. So now you have low poly animated water for your landscape. This was Mr. Tripie. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow. Thank you.